airing out there. Well, you know, there's a little unnerving, right? When you see something like this in your front yard, I want to step out of the way and show you a little bit better if Walker can zoom in for you. This is the front yard of someone's home in Burien. This was used to be a creek. Now it looks more like a river and it's been growing all day. Actually, the owner told me that it was even larger this morning. So we're closely monitoring this situation. This is along South 148th Street near SeaTac Airport. But earlier today, you guys, we were in Tacoma all day hanging out and I want to show you this video if we can in downtown Tacoma. Uh, it was by Pacific Avenue and South Tacoma, not just a little there, but a lot. The video was taken around six o'clock this morning. You see two cars stranded, one of them submerged in that water. The man who took this video uh, nearby, he says a woman was in that submerged car and she had to be rescued. Several hours later, the water did recede, but crews still close tonight uh, because with nonstop rain, we could be in the same situation again in these same spots. Right now in Tacoma, we have at least five roads closed indefinitely, including Pacific Highway at 26, but also South 36th Street in the Ruston neighborhood. With record rainfall again, uh, not only do we have to worry about our homes, but you guys driving around has been pretty rough. Well, all across Western Washington, take a listen. I had to put it. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm going to die. It's, it's scary, it's, right? Oh, yeah, have you oh, been yeah. Out, out and about today? Yes, it's been crazy out there. I haven't stopped running in two days. Okay, so we also want to remind people that it could be something as simple as a clogged drain that is creating all the flooding in your neighborhood. In Tacoma, for example, there are 18,000 drains, so crews cannot get to all of them. Uh, they are asking people if you safely can, if there's leaves or something clogging those drains, to please do so. Because again, 18,000 drains in Tacoma alone, the crews cannot get to all of them. So just keep that in mind as we continue to see rain. Guys, back to you.